You know, the economy is about to implode. I mean, that much is, is pretty sure. I, we've heard of Bitcoin. We've heard of Ethereum. You familiar with XRP and the efforts of Ripple? I didn't have any idea that Ripple was going to become the kind of thing that it has become here. They understand that this is a once in a generation opportunity. Ripple and XRP are going to be the global standard. A single global payment network that connects literally everyone. It's here. This year. It's here. It is here. Already. Yeah, I see. It's my belief, based off of all the fundamentals that I've been seeing the past few years, is that we are well positioned and a lot further ahead than most people realize. 300 plus customers. Using ODL for me as a customer has been game changer. On-demand liquidity is a feature offered within RippleNet that helps customers eliminate the need to pre-fund an account in the destination country where they're sending funds. There's $27 trillion sitting in these bank-to-bank -bank accounts. They're called Nostra accounts, Vostra accounts. Bank money! We're near an inflection point. This may be your last hurrah here to try to get it in on precious metals and cryptocurrencies. The real crisis is a dollar crisis. All the money the Fed is printing isn't going to have value. It's not going to buy anything. Prices are going to skyrocket. And in fact, this coronavirus is accelerating that process. We need to go to a global virtual currency. Cash is trash. And cryptocurrencies such as Ripple are vying for a spot in the cashless world. How can I say this another way, people? I've been at this for years. Load up. It's a P. Going to the At the end of the day, when the music stops, if you're holding dollars or the equivalent treasuries, muni bonds, corporate bonds, I don't care if your money is in the bank or under your mattress, you're getting wiped out. Once this breaks out, we're going to hit 21, 26, 51, and then it's off to the fucking races forever, folks. It take a nigga 13 years to get to some money. How you going hate? You can't hate him. It took that. I was broke. Yeah, when you see me, I had nappy braids. Yeah, my stomach was hurting. It really was hurting. I really starved some nights, man. You know what I mean? So if it could take me 13 years, why well, can't it take you seven? Get on your grind. Start now. Don't wait till you're 36. Start now while you're in your 20s or while you're in your teens and get the money. Come on, you can't let nobody tell you what you can't be or what position you're going to be in or what position you in. Because, shit, we come from nothing. If that's the case, we wouldn't even be here. If I believed them back then, my teachers tell me, you're a loser. Get out of my class. You're going to be dead by 21. It was like that. It was rough. Teacher talking to you nasty. You don't believe in believing. You don't see nobody making it. But I still believe I can make it through all that, so why would I listen to anybody? Where we come from, if you're not locked up and dead, you winning. And that's a mind game in itself, because I ain't believe that. I'm like, shit, you, you ain't gonna tell. You say in the song, you make it past 18, that's Yeah, we say life. if you make it past 18, that's what we call that more life. Like, yeah. seriously, though. I used to be scared to even think about turning 30 when I was 19, because I thought I would never turn 30. I'd be like, I wonder what I'm going to be like when I'm 30. And then I would just make my mind change the subject because I couldn't see that far. Chino, Chino, I tell you, Chino got shot in his head at 19 years old yeah. about just having a little name for himself. Yeah. You think he going to stop having a name for himself because somebody shot him in his head, try to take him off the earth, take his soul. That's just going to make us take If that can't stop level. him, nothing should be able to stop you. So when I see people talking shit about me, it only make me get up twice as hard as I would have got up if I ain't had nobody going against me. I've kind of feed off of it. It's, it's a war, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't for the saw, people. You got to have tough skin for it, but even through any rap shit, when they try to burn me down and tell me I was losing, I stood still tall. I walked through the storm while it's raining, helling, there's fire it's coming out of the sky. Still balling. We're walking. <laughs> we ain't going to run. We ain't going to panic. We ain't going to run out of breath. As Soon as the sun cleared back up, we shining. Right just to walk through the storm. Shit. That's just how you got to play. You know what I mean? That's what we live by, and that's what we was born into. We was born in this life as losers, starting off in the back. And we don't mind being behind, but we going to win. We always going to win. If you're in a bad position, you feel like you can't win, 
Stay strong, stand up, keep your chin up, and walk. Don't panic. Never panic. Why, why that nigga be hating? He said, it ain't made for you to understand why he be hating. It's made for you to do the shit to make the nigga hate. So what we gonna do? We gonna live this life, man. We gonna get this money. Belief in oneself and knowing who you are, I mean, that's the foundation of everything great. Risky business of going against the grain. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. On the hood. It's radicals, you know what I'm saying? I think it's exciting right now, though. You know, that's why I'm kind of going slow. As much as people are like trying to rush me, I'm going slow because. I think that we ain't, there's no need to rush. I think all the opportunities are unfolding. I think the most important lesson for me would be just be true to yourself. You know, it sounds like a, a very simple thing to do, but it's not. It's not simple to do with all the pressures to succeed and all the pressures to, once you succeed, to stay there. You have a belief in yourself, and, some, and sometimes, in most cases, it's a naivete about who you are and what you can contribute to um, to the game. Everything in life is for your greatest good. No matter how difficult it seems at the time, everything is for your greatest good. It's just clearing you out so you can receive your blessings, even the tough times. Even the tough times is, a, is, is used for us to grow, for us to go through things so when, when the good times come, we really appreciate it. But you gotta just believe everything is for your greatest good. And anything you want in life, you just gotta set your attention. When you set your, we that powerful, wall, every single person in here, we're that powerful as human beings. If you set your attention and you believe that shit with your whole soul, 100%, it's gonna happen for you, I promise you. My advice would be define who you are and what you are and be clear on that, meditate on that, and then live and die by it. There's a knowing in being an artist. There's a knowing. You can't guess, you can't think. There's a knowing. You have to know that even if it doesn't work today, tomorrow, you have to have this knowing that this is the right thing and this is what I'm doing and this is what's feeding me. So I'll, that, that would be the best advice that I can, that I can give you, that knowing, just, just believe in what you're doing. And if, it's, and if you don't believe in it, then you're not doing it. You, you, you haven't figured out the thing that you do best yet. When you feel it and when you know, no one can tell you. It, you only have to be right once. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I believe in you work with what you got, man. I was never a robber. I was always a hustler. Mm -hmm. And what I, why I say that is that you can watch what other people doing, and this nigga on this level of the game, and it'll start poisoning your process, and you wanna skip steps. Yeah. And I always believe that I seen niggas jump the gun and step outside of their comfort zone of what they known for doing and go get smacked and go get 100 years. So I relate that to music where, you know, when I didn't have a deal, you know, we did mixtapes. Yeah. That's what we could do. You know what I'm saying? We could buy some equipment, pay a producer to use the beat, and put it out instead of saying, oh, I can't do nothing. Let me go just rush to somebody for some help. Work within the realm of which you got access to, and I was mixtapes. Yeah. And when I didn't have the internet or no fan base that cared, we was out the trunk with it. You know? Facts. And so I just believe in being, you know, embracing what you got around you, you know? And as your resources grow, level up, but it's never no excuse to not work. So that's, that's, how, that's how I embrace the mixtape game. Like, this is the level we at. And I know niggas dropping albums, but we ain't at that level. And we ain't going you know, budge and go give up what we feel is important. To That's what to I had to, to add. You gotta do anything you do with love, or mm -hmm. you shouldn't do it. Or it's gonna... Whether any, whoever you surround yourself with, you around 10 broke niggas, you gonna be the 11th one. Mm -hmm. You around people that have high standards for themselves, or high integrity, got mm -hmm. high standards for their friends, for their people, you know, that's gonna rub off and you gonna have that type of energy around you. So if you with somebody, 
and they, they somebody that has high energy or a powerful person, you know, that's motivation for you to stay on top of your game. Because, mm -hmm. you know, somebody probably going to call you out or it's going to be lopsided. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I know my girl work. My girl bring on the check. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like what I look like falling off. You know what I mean? Not that I would feel like right. it's cool to fall off if I didn't, but it's just like you got a little bit more of a daily yeah. reminder. You it's know like what I mean? steel sharpened steel. 100%. That's, a, that's the simple way to say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the discipline as well. The discipline to not get caught up in the moment. You know, music is like stocks too. You know, there's the hot thing of the moment. You know, there's this hot electro sound or the hot auto-tuned voice or the hot uh, whatever whatever's new and exciting and you know you know people tend to make emotional decisions based on that you don't stick with what they know this is who I am this is what you know this is what I do and then they you know jump on this next hot thing and you know it's it's not for you so for me just having the discipline and having the confidence that and, it, and who I am we were forced in the beginning. I wish I could say we were geniuses and say we're going to start our own company. You know, I, that's not what happened. You know, in the beginning, we went to every single label and every single label shut their door on us. Um, the, the genius thing that we did was we didn't give up. We didn't say because these guys, you know, we use that what do they know approach. You know, we, we didn't give up at that point. I think that would, you know, that was the genius thing we did. We started selling our own CDs and we built our own buzz and then the record company came back to us. I feel the same way, bro. I didn't, I didn't really graduate high school. You know, I left early when I was like 14, but I, I, I was always, you know, had books around me. My mom always, you know what I mean, kept books in the house and it made it important that I was well versed. Yeah. You know, so um, it's a habit I just kept uh, as I grew older. Yeah. And I just read things I was interested in. You know, I started off reading magazines. You know what I mean? That's how I learned about hip hop culture yeah. outside of LA. Right. By reading like Double XL and the source, hearing about classic albums from other places and all that. Right. And then, like anything I was interested in, I read the magazines about it. Right. And I just start getting the books. And uh, just like you said, a lot of my best ideas, a lot of my business savvy, which I'm, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't the smartest dude, but I, I know what I know. Yeah. You know, came from books. Like I read books about the industry, I read books about. The deals that was done in the industry mm -hmm. right. and these dudes you know held right. out and made certain decisions that empowered them for the rest of their careers it's, it's a weird thing you just you work to be in the zone when you're in the zone you know you're in your zone but yeah. how you get there is always different yeah, yeah you know it's about it's about zeroing in and being able it's like kind of like meditating you know how some people find it hard to meditate because you got to mute the world mm -hmm. and you got to go into yourself but then when you're there you know you're there you know what i mean but yeah. to get there you got to practice getting there and i think that's how it is to be able to receive music i seen you with gary v yeah yeah he crazy you know what i mean he <laughs> turned up you know as soon as he walk in the room you feel it <laughs> right, right nah but you know I, I i i got a lot of respect for gary v i call him a radical i call myself a radical too so i think we relate on that level yeah, yeah. i pay attention i'm a student of success and just like boss moves and i pay attention so you don't got to tell me directly but everything in life, you just gotta trust life, trust life. So I would just say get involved in things that you love and also have, you know, have a standard for yourself and have some sort of integrity and try to, you know, find some sort of truth in what you're doing. This is the problem. Some of us have left our employment and we've come into this industry and we've brought with us a nine to five mindset. This is important. You're, you're doing what entrepreneurs do, but you're doing it with a nine to five mindset. And what a nine to five means is that I'm gonna put forth effort during this time and this time. When you are a true hunter, when you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. I'll say it again, when you are a true hunter, you don't hunt from eight to three, why? Because the gazelle may not be open from eight to three. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. And so somebody says, E.T., you number five on some list as a top motivational speaker in the world. You're number 10 in certain lists. How do you feel? I said, I feel terrible. I feel worse now than I ever felt before. 
I said, why? I said, because at first I wasn't going after the number one guy. And now that I'm on the list. <laughs> See, I didn't know before. Like some people say, my, my grandmother, how could your grandmother live in the projects as a time my grandmother lived in the projects in Detroit? Like, how could your grandmother live in the projects in Detroit? I said, but she's having a great time. So what do you mean she's having a great time? Has she not flown and seen the world? I said, no, and that's why she's not she's in trouble with, with where she is economically because that's where she's been her whole life. No, the challenge is the person who's been rich and they're broken. That's a challenge. The challenge is if you don't know, if you don't know what that life is like, you don't crave for something that you don't, you've never tasted, you've never had before. So for me, I was okay when we were just doing videos, but now, now, right? So what happens, guys, if you don't know this, that a lion has a different type of appetite. So the more, when a lion, like a shark, takes blood, it's dangerous. So you don't get to the point, listen to me, a nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. Okay, you missed what I just said. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. And your problem is you just want to check. Yeah, you're not a true hunter. You just want to say it. You don't get excited about the process. Struggle. Struggle. I'm a product of the 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 struggle. Being at the top, they say it's lonely. But see, I don't fear being lonely. I fear being around average people who want me to be just like them. I needed people for so long. But they never came And because no one came I learned to live without them I learned to get comfortable being lonely I learned how to function in the dark Now I'm dangerous You see people who don't need anyone And are comfortable being alone Can accomplish anything Hear me out now You see I don't fear rejection Because I don't have any friends who reject me See the only two friends I have Are vision and grind And the three of us together are unstoppable If you're looking for fear my eyes you looking in the wrong place See, I don't fear because I don't got nothing to lose People that fear got something, I ain't got nothing All I got is my dream And best believe I'm gonna make that dream a reality And not you or anyone is gonna stand in my way I used to chase people and beg people to put me on To open the door, to give me an opportunity And every time they let me down So I stopped asking and started taking I'm a product of the struggle I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle, struggle. I'm a product of struggle. Those addicted to the fire become slaves to the burn. And I'm burning with passion for what I want to do in life. And all these nine to five walking dead zombies trying to rain on my parade and tell me I'm a dreamer. So what? I'd rather die on my feet dreaming. Then crawl on my knees to a job that I can't stand to make somebody else rich You got a heartbeat and you breathing But you not really living You too scared to be who you supposed to be You see, fear is a track star and you can't outrun it The only way to beat it is to face it head on without flinch Your upbringing is a joke Your mom and daddy didn't prepare you your schooling didn't prepare you for life They didn't equip you with the tools needed for you to stand down the thing you fear the most and laugh See, you can only learn that in the dark You can only learn that alone And I learned that a long time ago I'm gonna keep it real with you I used to cry myself to sleep But not now It's not tears that hit my pillow but sweat See, you feel what I'm saying It resonates on the inside with you Cause I'm not saying it from my mind I'm not saying it from my throat or my heart I'm saying it from my spirit Deep down, that's who I am That's why when I speak, I set you on fire Cause you know what I'm saying is real You've been there too, and you know what it looks like You know what it feels like I'm not reading this out of some self-help book, bruh Man, I live this here that I'm talking to you They say, Billy Now if you want corporate jobs If you want corporations to hire you to come speak You need to tone your message down I said, what? Man, I only know one speed, bruh, and that's raw. Straight up uncut, unstepped on. I ain't about to pollute or dilute my work. 
for a paycheck? Are you kidding me? See, I understand the secret. The secret is set yourself on fire. Money chases fire. Money chases value. And I'm gonna give it to you straight up. And any corporation that don't understand the fire, I don't wanna speak to anyway. Cause they not gonna be here long. You see, the greats that actually change the world, they understand my language. The Steve Jobs, the Google Brothers, Jeff Bezos, Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Nick Saban, Bill Belichick, John Wooden. All these people knew you gotta be on fire if you wanna change the world. When you living in the dark, you got two choices to stay there or turn into the flame. And I chose the lights, and I'm shining, and I'm gonna keep on shining, and I'm gonna burn my way with passion to the top. If people would've put me on, had people came to my rescue when I needed them emotionally, I would have never been prepared to achieve the levels of success that I now conquer. I'm not bitter, I just don't care. I'm not arrogant or cocky, I just know my worth. I'm not reckless, I just won't be denied what I know is already mine. See, the difference between me and the rest is I paid my college tuition in pain. There's no scholarships or free rides for greatness. Ain't no free meal tickets, no skipping line passes, and no powerful friends to put you on. Ain't no one coming to save you. The one you looking for has already come. This is how it is when you a product of struggle, struggle. I'm 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 a product of struggle. This is the jungle, and only the strong survive. You see, I simulated the struggle day in and day out before the game ever began. Before I ever got in the ring, I won it in my mind. Now I laugh at every obstacle, every adversary, and every so-called setback. See, I'm not like the other people that you fought. I'm not like the other people you've been in the ring with. You say, oh no, Billy, you cocky. You are overconfident. You are underestimating your opponent. But that's not it. See, I'm going to tell you what it is. Why I am so confident in my ability. Because I've already fought you in my mind a million times before I ever saw you. I am a seasoned warrior designed for overcoming. You see, I'm immune to loneliness. Immune to affliction. And immune to misery. What you going to do to me? There's nothing that you can do to me that ain't already been done. I'm addicted to the struggle. I've overdosed so many times on struggle that I'm tolerant and numb to it now. See, I don't fear you, nor do I fear those with you, because you are so weak and unready to face me. I'm determined on the inside, and you will feel the wrath of somebody who will not quit until they get what they came for. See, being at the top, they say, is lonely. But I don't fear being alone I fear being around average people like you That's trying to make me like you For years, I thought people used to doubt me Or be jealous of my dream But see, now I realize it was fear They knew I was gonna do what I said I was gonna do But they were just scared where they were gonna be sitting when I did it But now I'm dangerous People who don't need anyone and are comfortable being alone Can accomplish anything Playtime's over, I'm coming I'm a product of struggle, struggle. 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 I'm a product of struggle. Billy Owls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable, to God be the glory, and if you're looking for me, you know where to find me, <laughs> all day, every day, boy, 120, Grind City, struggle, struggle, I'm a product of struggle, struggle, I'm a product of struggle, struggle, I'm a product of struggle, struggle. This is incredible. We have a lot of stuff that we've talked about here, and I think I want to kind of wrap it right here for this one. But any final thoughts before we go? I just want to encourage all the XRP holders to hold strong. Please get your XRP off of exchanges. This is a very valuable asset that you own. You need to lock it up in a cold wallet, either a Ledger Nano or Decent wallet. You need to get it in your own control. Get it off the exchanges now. Well said. Linda P. Jones, Be Wealthy and Smart.
I like it. Thank you so much, Linda. My pleasure, Brad.